kind of a hard landing. That is some serious water power right there. What a day out there with my brother on La Plata. Oh, man, beautiful mountain. If you've ever gotten up to the collegiate peaks, uh, it's like just to the south of La Plata, you start the mountains of Harvard, Columbia, Princeton, Yale, all these mountains named after universities. But anyway, it's beautiful up there. Oh, man, in the New Balance Hero V6, doing the twist test. Little loosey goosey. We're gonna put it on the screen just a little bit. One honk, okay, of that goose. Not crazy, but um, it's definitely twisting more than let's say the Innovate over there, okay, that we uh, talked about recently. All right, there's the Innovate. Here we go, looking at an eight millimeter drop, 28 in the heel, 20 in the forefoot for that eight millimeter slope. Uh, medium stack height, women's size eight, men's size nine on your screen. I believe we're looking at about 10.3 ounces. Yeah, 10.2, 10.3 ounces in my size. So not too shabby, not the best score for the weight, but uh, at least it's not over 10 and a half like this Innovate shoe was. All right, this upper, here we go, an engineered mesh, not high breathability, toe cap, not as stout, again, as the Innovate, all right, that I just talked about. But here's, all right, it's flexing, that toe cap. So if you do kick a rock or a root out there on the trails, just beware. It's not built like a tank through that toe cap. Let's do the heel counter test. Actually, stronger than I expected. And this is crazy. Did not expect, and let me just double check. Yes, okay, semi-gusseted for the tongue. Lockdown score. Pretty solid, 7.75 out of 10. I'm going with plush for the collar. Very comfortable, great, yeah, heel pocket, very comfortable. So not many trail shoes that I test, I would say fall into that plush category. So if you're looking for a collar of a trail shoe that is just nice on the ankles, this could be the ticket for you. The Hero V6 overall score, for the upper is in the eights because of that plush collar mostly. And it's just, it's just comfortable. It laced up well on the top of the foot. Let me just remind, yeah, nice. The tongue, nice cushion, nice. Oh, it's just, they nailed it actually. I gotta say, I'm very pleased with the comfort side of the upper. Onto that fresh foam X, okay, for the midsole material. Let's do the durometer, yep, it's giving. Not a lot of energy return. There's my score for the energy return, kind of a standard score. And now this Fresh Foam X is a uniquely formulated compound, um, injected EVA, all right, which is then pressed in heat to create that form and shape that you see on your screen right now. Crazy enough, almost is, I mean, it's not the same by any means, but it's almost looking a little bit like the ASICS Nova Blast lineup as far as the cut and the geometry that they're going with through that midsole. There's the overall score onto that Vibram Mega Grip Rubber Outsole. Now here's the deal. I've had some challenges in the past, as has my brother with Vibram on the outsoles. I can I have seen it be very like slick before, especially on rocks that are that are a little bit wet or smoother rocks, but I think New Balance did pretty well. Not only uh, with the, okay, the lug pattern, I think there could be a little more space and maybe just a l smaller lugs and just a little more space between the lugs, New Balance. The lug depth doesn't need to increase that much, uh, sorry, at all. Uh, but I think for a little better bite into the mountain, the lugs could be a little smaller and a little more spread out. But at the same time, maybe they're going more for that buffed out trail type of running a little bit different than what I was doing out there on the mountain today. That's why we're going six out of 10. It's uh, yeah, I would say don't take this shoe out on crazy aggressive 
trails. Just so you know. Moving on to the fit, true to size, standard score. Um, there you go. I'm going to say plenty of room in the toe box, okay? I didn't feel squished at all. So if you like a little more splaying, meaning your toes can spread out inside that toe box, I did not feel cramped at all. Okay, very interesting. I just noticed here on the toe box, it says toe protect. And there's a little overlay strengthening, but I gotta say that toe cap is not built like a tank. All right, if you kick a rock, again, like I already said, yeah, you're gonna feel that rock. So I don't know about that New Balance toe protect, but maybe they mean here on the side for those other toes. Okay, on to the comfort score, nice. Eight out of 10, mostly because of the upper. And when I give a comfort score, I'm doing the entire shoe. The midsole combined with the upper. Okay, so that's what I mean by the comfort and leaning in the direction of that upper just doing great. Oh, so good. Again, back to that collar. Positives and drawback positive is the heel lockdown. Amazing. The pocket, just amazing. And I'm going to go with the outsole for the drawback. I just think that lug pattern is interesting. It almost looks like a, it almost is functioning like a road shoe because the lugs are so wide. And I want to just a little more bite into the mountain when I'm out there doing the vertical. There you go. Durability prediction, five to 600. Again, submit your photos. If you've taken the shoe past, um, let's say past 300 miles, 500 miles. So I'm going to go five to 600 on demoreglobalrunning.com. You can submit photos of your shoes if you've taken it past a certain amount of miles because I can only take shoes, as you know, to uh, 50 miles. Or for example, this shoe, I'm not relegating yet, but this is just my first impression. So we will see if we get it to 50 miles. Daily trainer, classic daily trainer. There you go. Who's the best for? Just getting the miles in. All right. I mean, in a little, and I guess extra cushion around the collar. Price point, there we go, 135. I'm excited about that. I think if it was 125, we'd be doing backflips in the studio. But 135, we will take. Okay, other shoes to buy. We're gonna go Solomon Ultra Glide Nike Pegasus Trail Three Hoka Speed Goat Four. All right, three trail shoes that you could also consider. I'm putting into a similar category, not exactly the same, but a similar category. Mostly, it's hard to match that outsole when I'm yeah trail shoes are always a little more difficult to match compared to road shoes but those are the three though I'm putting on the screen for now here we go new balance hero v6 quick specs on your screen soak it in one more time vibram mega grip rubber rubber 28 and 20 for that stack 135 price point it did I okay first of all I don't include colorways in my scoring system because it does not impact the performance of the shoe but i'm a human being and so when i pull a shoe out of a shoe box i look at the colorway just like all of you and i was not very excited about the shoe as it came out it's a classic like blend in with the trees type of shoe you know what i mean that green and gray and blue colorway but it did so i was judging the shoe a little bit out of the box too much it did better than i expected 7.27 out of 10. Okay, not too bad. All right, breaking into the seven. So we'll see. I will keep testing it and getting it to that 50 mile mark for all of you. Here we go. Comment of the day uh, from the vlog where I ran up and down the mountains with my brother. Shout out to Noah. Noah says, we don't get to hear Joseph's input very often. He's my brother. That's Joseph, my brother. It was like having a special guest today. I keep forgetting how talented it talented he is as well and i can't wait to see you guys crush some fkts p.s i love the bond you two have as brothers great vlog noah noah thank you the more i reflect on life the more i am amazed that i have a brother that loves something to the to the degree that i love running you know what i mean, I mean that's i would say a little bit rare to have a brother or sister who loves to do something at the level that i do so that's a lot of fun so Noah, i appreciate you pointing pointing that out and yes joseph's more talented than i am everybody just so you know you just wait you just wait over the next five years he's going to be crushing fkts crushing races uh qualifying for world mountain running champion like he has okay he was top 10 at footlocker cross country um in high school 
you if you follow cross country for high schoolers, he was top 10. He I think he finished 10th. His senior year. That's a big deal. 10th in the nation in the entire United States of America. He was 10th place. Now he had a good coach, but he was 10th place. Everybody's so he's very talented and um, he's going to do great things over the next five years. There we go. Question of the day. What skill would you like to master? That's it. What skill would you like to master? I'm going to leave it there. We will toss it to the New Balance Running Shoe Playlist. New Balance Running Shoe Playlist. Right there. Right there. Right there. DGR strong. Come on now. Onward and upward. All right. Seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. See you tomorrow.